Hi guys, welcome back to Ladens Accessories. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this awesome cross body bag. Uh, it's a very simple pattern. You're going to enjoy working it. And for the materials that you're going to need for the bag are two D rings. As you can see, there's this one and this one right here. You can do without it. You can actually work the strap without the rings, but I feel like the the rings are adding some aesthetics to the bag and it looks cooler. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to need the yarn, of course. I'm using a medium weight yarn, but I'll be doubling my strands to achieve a thicker, uh, the, a thicker yarn. Then you're going to need zippers, two of them, one for attaching on this side pocket and the other one for attaching on the main part of the bag. Then you're going to need a pair of scissors, a dani needle, some stitch markers. I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. The smaller the hook, the better because you need stitches that are close and you need tight attention on your on your stitches then you'll need a measuring tape you can actually do without the tape but you might need it so it will come in handy so grab your materials and let's get into the tutorial i'm mixing these two colors so i'll get one strand of one color these two shades of blue and i'll work with them like this so this is the panel that i want to work you're supposed to have these two panels are completely identical so i've already worked one and i'll work another one looking exactly like this so with the two strands i'll begin with a slip knot then chain 15. so after the 15 chains i'm going to block off the 15th chain then chain one more and then inside the hook in the 15th chain that i'm holding yarn over and grab a loop then you're going to have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through the two loops go into the next chain grab a loop and pull through two we are working single crochets into every chain and you're going to work one single crochet into every chain till you get to the end at the end you should have a total of 15 single crochets one into every chain So that's the first row done chain one and turn to begin row two we begin row two in the first stitch so this very first stitch right here insert your hook and do a, a single crochet a single crochet into the next stitch into the stitch that follows and into all the stitches to the end of row two at the end we should have a total of 15 single crochets The last stitch may be, may be not be too visible, so do not forget to work into it. This one right here. Make sure you work into the last stitch. And that's the end of row two. Chain one and turn to begin row three. For row three, we're going to start with an increase. So we're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch. And then another single crochet into that very first stitch. So that you have two stitches in the first stitch. Then get your stitch marker and mark that row place it in the first stitch like that then continue working to the end at the end we're going to also have an increase but all the other stitches in between will only get one single crochet i'm in the last stitch and i'm going to place two single crochets into that stitch for that increase at the end that's row three done chain one and turn to begin row four we're going to work row four and row five without increasing so just one stitch into every stitch one single crochet into all the stitches at this point you have a total of 17 stitches row four and row five will each have 17 stitches same as row three Chain one and turn to begin row five and work one stitch into all the stitches. Mm 
I'm at the end of row 5 and we are ready to begin row 6. So we chain 1 and turn to begin row 6. Row 6 is an increased row. So we begin with 2 single crochets into the first stitch. Then mark that row. So I'll just pull out this stitch marker from row 3. Then I'll mark row 6. Then keep going with 1 single crochet to the end. 1 into every stitch. Then we're going to increase in the last stitch. That's the end of row 6. I placed 2 single crochets in the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn to begin row 7. Row 7 and 8 um, are going to be rows with no increase. At this point we have 19 stitches. So row 7 and row 8 will each have 19 stitches. So work the 2 rows without an increase. And I'll meet you once I'm done. So that we can work row 9 which is going to be an increase row. Yeah, chain 1 and turn to begin row 9 and we're going to place two stitches in the beginning in the first stitch then mark that stitch so pull out this stitch marker and place it in the first stitch of row 9 continue with one single crochet into every stitch and increase in the last stitch So in the very last stitch, we're going to place two single crochets. And this is our last row of increase. So from row 10 until we get the length of the bag that you want, we're going to work without increasing. So let me see how many rows I worked. So I worked a total of 38 rows. I'm in row 9. So I'm going to chain 1 and keep working one single crochet into every every stitch in all the rows until I get to 38 rows. Make sure that at the end of every row, before you begin the next row, you chain 1 before turning. This is the end of row 10. So chain 1 and turn to begin row 11. Once you turn, begin in the first stitch with a single crochet and work single crochets in all the rows. In all the stitches, that is. Keep going till you get to row 38 and I'll meet you there. At this point, I'm done with the 38 rows, and this is what I have. We're going to do a row of edging all the way around till we get back to this point. And we're going to begin from that point where we just ended. Into that same stitch, you're going to place a single crochet. Right now, we are working the rows, so we'll move to the next row and work a single crochet. Work a single crochet in the row that follows into the next row. And into the next then work a single crochet into all the rows all the way to the top right here at this point I'll pull out the stitch marker place a stitch in that row and continue marking that stitch so put the stitch marker back into that row then keep going to the top I'm in the last stitch and in that stitch at that corner I'll place I've just placed a stitch I'll place two more for a total of three 
to create a corner at the top. Then into the next stitch, place a single crochet. We are on the stitches on top and each of the stitches is just going to get one stitch. So one single crochet into each of the stitches on top. I'm at the corner stitch and I'll place three single crochets into that stitch at the corner. That will get me to this other edge and on that edge we have the rows and each of the rows is going to get one single crochet. As I work on that side, I'll work over these, these ends just to hide them. So move into the next row and place a single crochet, a single crochet on the row that follows, then next. And keep going with one single crochet into all the rows. In the corner stitch at the end, you're just going to place one single crochet and chain one then cut off the yarn and that panel is done it's completely identical to the other one so now i'm going to work an edge that we're going to attach on the sides now what you need to do is count the stitches so you're going to count the nine rows from the top or you're going to count from the row where you've marked this point and then you're going to mark the opposite side so let me do that. Once you mark the, the two sides, you're going to count the stitches from this point all the way around through the bottom back to this stitch right here. I've counted a total of 81 rows from this stitch marker all the way around to the other stitch marker. And now I'm going to do a third piece that's going to connect the two pieces together. And I'm just going to grab my yarn, double it up, start with a slip knot. And chain 10. Then we're going to hold the last stitch and chain one more. Then put the hook into that stitch that you're holding, do a single crochet, and do a single crochet into every stitch for a total of 10 single crochets. Chain one and turn to begin row two. Begin row two in the first stitch, work a single crochet, a single crochet into the next stitch, into the stitch that follows, and all the stitches will each get one single crochet. Do not forget the last stitch, which is not very visible, this one right here. Go into it and place a single crochet. Chain one, turn to begin row three, begin in the first stitch and work one single crochet into every stitch. So we're going to have a total of 81 rows of 10 single crochets each. So let me go ahead and work my, my 81 rows, then I'll be back once I'm done. I'm done with the 81 rows and I'm going to use this to connect these two pieces together to make the bag. So this is how it's supposed to be. And I'm going to get one of the pieces, connect it first, then I'll get the, the next one. And I'm going to begin from the top part. So I'm going to hold my work like this, such that the right I'm on the right side of this panel. Then I just pull out the hook and put it through this stitch that I've marked. I do not need this. The stitch marker. Then uh, I'll put the hook back into that loop and pull the loop through. Then go into the next stitch. Then onto the second row, grab a loop and pull through to complete a slip stitch into the third stitch and the third row on the other side 
grab the yarn, pull through, and pull through all the loops to complete the slip stitch into the next stitch and the next row. Grab a loop and pull through. Then keep going. So I'll work all the way around till I've connected up to the other stitch marker, up to this point. So just go on connecting, make sure you don't skip any stitch. Attach the stitch and the corresponding row on the other side. I've joined to the last part and once you get here you're going to just cut off the yarn, leave a tail that you're going to weave in, pull the yarn through, put the hook into the next stitch and grab the yarn, put it on the inside part of the bag. And now I'm going to grab my yarn needle and weave in the ends. First, I'll put a knot just to secure that part, then weave in on the inside part of the bag. So those two parts are joined, I'm just going to grab the other part and attach it on top, right here. Grab your pair of scissors and cut off the yarn, then you're going to Make pull sure it through. Make sure that you have the, the right side facing or on top go into the next stitch so i'll just put your hook yarn through and, and pull the, the yarn into the onto the, the inside part of the bag then you're going to get your yarn needle and weave in that end so just put your yarn needle through the yarn through the yarn needle and we're going to make a knot and then after making the knot we're going to hide the tail inside the stitches This is what we're going to have after joining the three pieces together and we're ready to work this part above on top that is we're going to work the top part after joining that other part this is what we have
after the 34 chains we're going to block off the 34th chain and chain one more then go into the 34th place a single crochet into that stitch then place one single crochet into all the stitches to the end then we're going to work four rows and then after the four rows we're going to work another strip completely identical to this mm -hmm. one so we're going to have two of these Count the number of stitches from this point of joining. So we are counting the stitches on top, these ones right here. And mine are 34. I'm going to grab my yarn, start with a slip knot, and chain 34. Get the strip that has the, the strap and start attaching from this point right here. So put your hook through. The first stitch that you attach the other strip and you're going to pull the hook the loop through that stitch then we're going to put the the hook into the second stitch and onto the second row on the strip then we're going to do a slip once you have your two strips do not cut off the yarn from the second one we're going to use it to attach Go I'm just going to weave stitch, in these that ends row, that are that left on the other side before I start knot, attaching them. A slip uh, the stitch that is to sorry. the bag. So do a slip stitch at that point. Then into the fourth stitch and on the fourth stitch on the strip, attach with a slip stitch. Sorry. So we're just going to attach the corresponding stitches with a slip stitch all the way around till we get to the other side of the bag. So I'll just keep going and I'll meet you once I'm done. I've joined to the end and I'm just going to do the last slip stitch onto that very first stitch on the other side. Then I'm going to turn over to this side and start working on the stitches from the second stitch and the second row on the strip that I was working on. I'm just going to join them together on this end. So the third stitch and the third row the fourth stitch and the fourth row then i'll do the fifth stitch with the very last row that we did or the very first the, the first chain that we did on that strip so i'm just going to join them together at that end with a slip stitch and then i'll get the other strip and start attaching from this point or from the next stitch We're going to put the hook through the next stitch and then grab the other strip and put the hook through the very first chain uh, that we did. As you can see, we're going to join this with a slip stitch. So just grab that strip and put it through that very first chain and grab the loop, pull it through, pull it through that stitch on the back and complete a slip stitch go into the next chain and into the second stitch the second row on the strip and attach with a slip stitch onto the next stitch the third row attach and keep going till you get to the corner slip stitch onto the stitch on the other side of the bag so that we can start working and joining the strip onto that other side so in the very first stitch of the bag and the second stitch on the strip 
join them with a slip knot and keep going till you get to the other side of the bag. We are joining with slip stitches and not a slip knot. So keep joining the corresponding stitches with a slip stitch till you get to the other side. Once you get to the other corner, we're just going to attach the strip on the sides of the bag with slip stitches, of course, the stitches with the corresponding rows. And we're going to attach this strip on this side and then we're going to go on and attach the other strip. So in the first row and the first row on the strip, put your hook through and join with a slip stitch and then just keep going till you get to the corner. Once you get to the corner, do a slip stitch at the very last part of the bag. On the other side, on the strip, do the slip stitch and then cut off the yarn. So just pull, grab the pair of scissors and cut off the yarn, leaving a tail that you're going to sew in. And then you're going to pull it through. Then on the inside part of the bag, you're going to put your hook through. And grab the yarn on the other side so that you can weave it in on the inside part of the bag. So just grab the yarn and pull it through. Mm -hmm. Grab the yarn needle and then start weaving. Now before you weave, make a knot and then weave the end inside the bag. So you start by making a knot at that point. That part of the bag is done and we are ready to do a pocket that will be attached to the top part of the bag. So let's do that. I'm going to do 20 rows of the pocket and therefore I'll just count the 20 rows and then I'll grab my yarn, the two strands and start working. Grab the yarn and the hook and start with a slip knot. Then you're going to need to do stitches, uh, chains that are less than the chains that we started with. I'm first going to chain 15 and then I'll place it on the bag to see how far it will be and see whether it will be enough for me. So I'll start with a chain of 15. After the 15 chains, I'm placing it over the bag and it's a bit short and therefore I'll add some more stitches to get to 18. So I'll add three more stitches. Then the 18 works for me. And so what I'm going to do is I'll block off the 18th chain and chain one more. So hold the chain one more, go into the 18th stitch and place a single crochet. Then I'm going to place a single crochet into every stitch for a total of 18 stitches or 18 single crochets. And then I'll be chaining one and turning at the end of each row to begin the next row. And each of the rows is going to be 18 rows for a total is going to be 18 stitches and I'm going to work a total of 18 rows and then the last two rows I'll do them differently.
this is after 18 rows and you're going to do a reduction in the 19th row at the beginning and at the end so you're just going to put your hook through the first stitch grab a loop but do not complete the single crochet put your hook through the second stitch and grab a loop such that you have three loops on the hook then pull through all the three after yarning over and we've combined those two stitches into one then you're going to work one single crochet into every stitch until you have two stitches remaining At the end we're going to combine the two stitches together by put your hook into the second last stitch and grab a loop into the last stitch grab a loop yarn over pull through the three stitches chain one and turn we're going to do a second re reduction yarn over pull a loop yarn over pull a loop in the second stitch and pull through all the loops this is my row 20 and this is the last row that i'm doing so there's a reduction at the beginning there's going to be a reduction at the end so once you have two stitches remaining combine them into one And that's the last that's the last row of this pocket the side pocket of the bag now you're going to chain one and work a stitch into that stitch that you've just done then work a stitch onto all the rows so we are working and edging all the way around till we get back right here so just one single crochet into every row We get into the corner row and into that corner place three single crochets so one two and three and that's that takes us to the other side where we have the stitches and you're just going to place one stitch into every stitch to this corner At the corner stitch we place three single crochets turn to the other side and work one stitch into every row while working over this end just to weave it in or just to hide it and avoid having too many ends to weave in at the end so just one single crochet into every row I've just placed the last stitch at the top part and right there we're going to chain one cut off the yarn once you have your side pocket ready you're going to grab the yarn and begin with a slip stitch a slip knot sorry so do the slip knot and grab your your pocket or your square whatever it is beginning the stitch at the top in between the first and the second stitch on the inside part of the strip you're going to reattach the yarn with a slip stitch and then we're going to chain one please watch whatever i'm doing because it might be a bit complicated to explain this part so you need to be very careful what you're doing go into that first stitch and do a single crochet then go into the next stitch between the second and the third stitch on the inside part of the triangle of the rectangle or, or the square it's not a triangle it's a square of the square or the pocket do a single crochet right there in between the third and the fourth stitch right there do a single crochet and we're going to do single crochets in between the stitches on the inside part of the pocket all the way around till we get to the top part on the other side so we won't complete the round we're just going to do from this point to the other side
this is what you're going to have after you get to the other end and we're going to chain one and turn to begin the second row we're going to begin in the first stitch with a single crochet and then we're going to place a single crochet into all the other stitches all the way around to the part where we began so every stitch is getting just one single crochet Once you're done with the two rows, you're just going to chain one and leave a long tail that you're going to use to attach this pocket to the main part of the bag. So just chain one, leave the tail, get the pair of scissors and cut off the yarn. Pull the yarn through to make a knot. Then you're going to grab the bag. But before then, we're going to weave in the ends that are on this pocket. Once we weave in the ends, we're going to attach the pocket to the main part of the bag. Now get the pocket and the bag and we're going to place it over the bag. Then I'll get stitch markers and align this pocket onto the bag. So just watch what I'm doing. At the corner, I'll put the mm -hmm. stitch marker mm -hmm. and then I'll get the pocket on the corner part of that pocket and pin them, pin them together. Then I'll just get the other stitch marker and pin on the other corner as you can see just pin those two parts together and i'll get a third stitch marker and i'll mark or pin that last part as i do this i'm going to count the stitches in the rows and i want to ensure that the stitches are equal to the rows so i'll just get that stitch marker and mark that other end and then i'll start joining the two pieces together that is the main part of the bag and the pocket on top of the bag grab the yarn needle and put the yarn through and then we're going to start sewing the two parts together start with the first stitch on that pocket and a stitch or a row that corresponds it on the bag and just sew so the corresponding stitch with the corresponding row on the main part of the bag and we're going to do this all the way around till we get to the last stitch mark
I have my pocket attached as you can see and now I'm just going to take the yarn onto the inside part of the bag and I'm going to create a knot then I'll weave in the end that remains on the inside part as you can see so just pull it through make a knot then just sew the end that remains time to attach the strap onto the bag i've already marked the middle stitch on the top part as you can see then i'm going to count six stitches actually i'll be counting five stitches from this point and then i'm going to reattach the yarn on the fifth stitch so just put the hook through This part might be a bit hard to work, but just force the hook through, grab the yarn, and reattach it at that point. Then you're going to do single crochets. First chain one, then go into that stitch and do a single crochet. And while doing that, we're going to work over that end. Then we're going to do the second single crochet onto the next stitch. And then I'm going to place a total of 11 single crochets, actually 12. I'll place a total of 12 single crochets from this point. The stitch marker is unnecessary. Now you can just pull it out and then work the 12 single crochets. Once you have the 12 single crochets, chain one and turn to begin the next row. And we're going to do a single crochet into every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets in row two. At the end, chain one and turn to begin row three. We're going to begin row three with a reduction in that row. So into the first two stitches we're going to combine them then a single crochet into every other stitch until we have two stitches remaining then we're going to do a reduction at the end Once you get to the end, chain one and turn to begin row four and mark the third, the third row. Then we're going to work row four with no reduction. Then row five will have a reduction. Row six will have no reduction. Row seven will have a reduction. So we'll alternate between a reduction and no reduction till we have a total of four stitches remaining. So let me go on, do rows of one row of reduction, the next row no reduction. At this point, I'm going to do the last reduction that will give me a total of four rows. Then I'll chain one and turn. And from this point, I'm going to do a total of six rows of four single crochets each so each row is just going to be four single crochets we're not reducing anymore so just chain one and turn to begin the next row and work a total of six single six rows with four single crochets
chain one at the end and you're going to cut off the yarn leaving a tail that will enable attaching of the ring then pull through and fasten get your ring the d ring and put it through that strap then i'm going to grab the yarn needle and i'll use it to to sew that um, ring onto the strap so just grab the yarn needle and do that So when you start attaching, you will attach however you feel the ring is well attached and in place and it cannot fall off. So just attach however you feel is okay for you. I'm then going to make a knot and whatever end that remains I'll weave in I will I'll weave it in inside the stitches just to secure it in place and then cut it off. I'll cut off whatever remains after the weaving in. Now the ring is well attached. And it's time to work the other part at the bottom. I've already marked that corner stitch. And I'm just going to count four stitches from that point. Then put the hook through. Grab the yarn and reattach it at that point. Then I'm going to do a total of five stitches. So just grab the yarn and pull it through. Then we're going to chain one at that point. And start working the single crochets on the on those five stitches beginning the, with the first one so just place a single crochet place a single crochet into the next stitch go into the third stitch and place a single crochet as i do that i'm working over this end just to ensure that it's secured that's my third single crochet then I'll do the fourth single crochet and I'll pull out the stitch marker and do the fifth single crochet at that point where the stitch marker was. So just put the yarn through that stitch, grab the yarn and complete a single crochet. Chain one and turn to begin the next row. We begin with a single crochet again in the first stitch. And we're going to work a total of five single crochets, one into each of the stitches. At the end, we're going to chain one and turn to begin row three. Row three is still going to have a total of five single crochets, beginning with the first stitch and placing a single crochet into each of the other stitches and we're going to do a total of six rows with the five single crochets so chain one and turn do row four row five and then row six i'll meet you at the end of row six after the six rows chain one and cut off the yarn leaving a tail that we're going to use to attach the ring then pull through grab your ring and attach it the same way we've we've attached the ring on the top so just put your ring through that strap and join with a with the yarn needle
Once you've attached the rings, it's time to do the strap. Grab the yarn, do a slip knot, then chain five. Block off the fifth chain and chain one more, then go into that fifth chain, do a single crochet, a single crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the third stitch, a single crochet into the fourth and into the fifth stitch to complete row one of the strap, chain one at the end and turn to begin row two, begin in the first stitch with one single crochet and do a total of five single crochets in the second row. The third row is going to have five single crochets and all the other rows till you get the length of the strap that you want are going to have five single crochets each. As you do the strap, stretch it out because it stretches so that you get the accurate measurement. For this particular strap, I did a total of 70 rows. So go on, work a number of rows that is appropriate for your project or that will give you the appropriate length that you want for your bag or for the strap of the bag. After the 70 rows, this is what I have. And I'm just going to measure this while stretching it out to see the length that I'm going to, to be having. So just stretch. And when I stretched this out, it got me to close to 30 inches, between 39 and 30 inches, which is the strap that I want. Then I'm going to get this strap and attach it onto the rings. Just the same way we attach the rings on those straps that are on the bag, that's the same way we're going to attach the strap. So using the yarn needle and some, some yarn, I'm just going to put the strap through the ring and then I'll sew. I'll just sew in. Just make sure that you're sew when you're sewing, the part that is folded is on the inside part of the bag so that when you're carrying the bag, it's not exposed. Or when you're carrying the bag, that part is not exposed. I'm just going to attach on this side, then I'll attach on the other side, and then I'll be done with the straps or with the strap because it's, it's just one strap. So once your strap is in place, you're going to weave in all the ends and cut off and the bag is ready. Next, you're going to attach the lining to the bag plus the zippers. So be sure to check out the next part of this video in the next tutorial so that you learn how to attach them. See you in the next part and remember to subscribe.